cathedral was founded 150 years ago to make iron and steel. It grew up as a gritty, hard, industrial place, which just happens to have some of the most beautiful parks that I know. This is Albert Park, which was opened in 1868. It's a classic Victorian park, neat and elegant, with formal paths and long avenues of trees. It, it seems to be a bit slow, but all around the park there are timely reminders of the town's iron origins. There are spiffing iron gates, an exceedingly fine cast iron fountain, a delicate Victorian bandstand, and a splendid bust of the man who paid for it all, the great iron master Henry Bolko. Good old Henry Bolko. This used to be his garden. It's called Stewart Park nowadays. Bolko's house was burnt down in the 1960s. This colonnade is the only surviving bit of it, but not the only surviving memory from Bolko's time. Good gracious, no. I'd been to this park lots of times, but never realized what lurked behind the trees. And beyond the park department's depot, it's Bolko's stable block. His original estate buildings, the home farm, the workers' houses, they're all still here. Bolko was a German. He came to England as a young man, but he ended up as an English country gent. And these buildings could not be more typically English. They're pretty and picturesque with their multicolored and polychrome brickwork. But just occasionally, his German roots peep through his Englishness. This pointing is called tuck pointing. The cement is colored red, the same as the bricks, and then a thin layer of white is painted on to make it look as neat as possible. Now, that wasn't at all common in England. And round the corner, this gable end looks a bit more like Hansel and Gretel than Little Bo Peep. This has always been hidden from most visitors, but soon it's going to be turned into cafes and performance spaces and fun. It's going to be brought back to life. But to be honest, all Middlesbrough's parks are already full of life. But there is one in which that word life might not be the first to come to mind. Linthorpe Cemetery, Middlesbrough's oldest cemetery, has become an extraordinary mixture of graveyard, nature reserve, park and art gallery. It's dotted with imaginative new sculpture, but the gravestones are a rich source of artistic pleasure as well. I just love stuff like this. Look at that face. This is a beautiful place, but despite the fact that there's an estimated 120,000 people buried here, you don't need to worry, because as far as I can tell, there's just one corpse. 